And we'll do an update here on Spanky. And Spanky has um, been to the vet. Spanky was the one who did need a couple of extractions. This is our 20 pound boy, one of the three brothers. Otherwise though, blood work and everything, thyroid, um, urine was all fine. So really no issues there. He's very neat in the litter box, but does need a large litter box. Um, he is the only one of the three that has not taken a transition to wet food uh, very well. He doesn't seem to be keen on that. They were dry food eaters only. My experience has been using wet food when you want them to lose weight is great. Um, but uh, Spanky's really not been interested in any of the wet foods that I've tried, and I've tried an enormous variety. So I think he's going to be one that has to lose weight on on dry food and that's just going to be a portion control event. Um, with very very fat cats you want to make sure they don't stop eating because it can be very um, dangerous for them to to go without food. So it's a real balance to make sure that they eat and particularly when they're kind of shy and frightened you want them to be eating um, and then um, you know getting them to lose weight so typically what we say is you get them home you get them settled in you get them eating and then you start the weight loss program uh, keep in mind that with other cats in the household though that that's going to be something to consider so no free feeding homes for this cat he really is going to need someone um, who can pay attention to his diet uh, very shy um, very spooked but very very loving so um, he's the one that needs the tough love, as I call it, where you need to kind of um, pull him out, get him on your lap, give him a lot of ki snuggles and kisses and attention, and boy, does he soak it up. Loves to have his belly rubbed. Um, <laughs> he's got an ample belly to rub. So he's got great snuggly potential, but you, you're going to seek it out from him. He's not going to seek you out for it, at least not at first.